It's not just enough to say, I've got these employees coming back, we're gonna keep them safe. An initial step, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at your local state, potentially maybe some federal guidelines, but then you're gonna to have to make those for your organization. You know better than anybody else what it takes to run your business. One of the things that you wanna consider is the use of technology and how you can invest there, prepare yourself for potential future events, remote working, virtual meetings, reducing touch points in our workplaces, things like motion sensors for doors, or light switches. Do we have hygiene practices for common areas that are used? All those things uh, should be considered for reopening of your workplace safely. What business continuity planning can boil down is really what are the minimum practices and things that need to happen for you to consider opening up your doors or reopening your office. It's not just enough to say, I've got these employees coming back when we're gonna keep them safe. There's also suppliers and vendors that you really rely on to make sure that your business runs. The organizations and companies that have been most successful in reopening have had a feedback mechanism with their employees expressing to them and communicating very clearly what considerations you're making, what protocols you're putting in place to ensure their safety, what hygiene practices you're expecting them to follow. I don't think anybody could have really been well prepared for what we just went through over the past few months, but we can learn quite a few things from it and how we can build more resiliency in our businesses, regardless of how big or small they are.